so here's a game between the 1978 Milwaukee Brewers and the 1977 Kansas City Royals. It is the final game of a three game set. The Brewers won the first game in 10 innings 7 to 6 and they also won the second game 4 to 2. They are riding a seven game winning streak. Their mark overall is 27 and 23. <coughs> Excuse me, the Royals are in first place at 28 and 22, tied with Oakland atop the AL West. And should backtrack for a second and say the Brewers are in fourth place in the East, but they're only a game and a half back. So if they could continue this winning streak, they would move to within a game of first place. The teams are on the field. They are all set and ready to start. The game is at Royal Stadium, and the Brewers will be batting first. So here is the lineup for the Milwaukee Brewers. Paul Molitor is the DH, and he is leading off. He's hitting two fifty six with a homer and 10 RBIs. He does have 11 stolen bases on the season. Robin Yount is playing shortstop, batting second. He's at two eighty one, four homers, 22, stolen, uh, 22 RBIs, and 9 stolen bases. Cecil Cooper, batting third, playing first base, hitting 325 with six homers, 30 RBIs. Batting fourth out in left field is Larry Heisel. He's having a monster season so far, hitting 320, 14 homers, 41 RBIs. In the fifth spot, center fielder Gorman Thomas. Gorman is at 239 with nine homers, 32 RBIs. Sixth Ola Scano is batting sixth in right field. He's struggling at 232 with just three homers and 21 ribbies. Sal Bando batting seventh, playing third base, 280. Nine homers for Sal and 38 RBIs. The eighth place hitter is Don Money. He's over at second base, hitting 281. He does not have a homer on the season. He does have 14 RBIs. And batting ninth, the catcher, Buck Martinez. Hitting a buck fifty-one with one homer and seven RBIs in eighty-six at bats. The Royals have Paul Splitorf on the mound. Splitorf is six and five on the season with a two point five one ERA. Twelve starts and five complete games and three shutouts, all on his record this season. So with that said, it is time to play ball. So here we go. Molitor to lead it off for the Brewers. Molitor hits a single to center, and we are underway with the man on first. Robin Yelp, they call the hit and run for the Brewers, and he places it perfectly through the open hole in the infield, and suddenly the Brewers have men at the corners with no outs. The infield will stay back. So men on first and third with no outs, and Cecil Cooper is up. Cooper hits a fly to center. Now Collins is out there. And let's see if it's deep enough. Let's see what happens here. Molitor will tag and score on the sack fly. And that puts the Brewers up early, 1-0. One, one out, he out at first. Larry Heisel up. He hits a routine fly to left. Two gone, and here's power hitting Gorman Thomas. Thomas draws a walk, so that puts men at first and second with two outs. And Sixto Lascano looking to get the big two out hit. He also walks, so Splitorf has loaded the bases with two gone, and Sal Bando will be looking to deliver the big hit. Bando hits a grounder to short. Pontek flips it over to get the force at second. So the Brewers score just one. So we go to the bottom of the first now with the Royals about to bat, and let's take a look at their lineup. Freddie Pontek is leading off at short. He's hitting 295 with three, three homers, surprisingly. And Pontek has stolen 21 bases on 29 attempts on the season. Joe Zeb is playing left field, batting second, 277. Only 47 at-bats on the season, part-time duty. 
Batting third is Hall of Famer George Brett. Brett is only hitting 266 with four homers and 27 RBIs. So he's looking to get on track here. The DH is batting cleanup. That is Hal McRae. Hal is at 287 with seven homers and 30 RBIs. Al Collins is out in center today as Amos Otis gets the day off. Collins is hitting 323 with five homers and 34 RBIs on the year, having a nice season. Darrell Porter is the catcher, 259 and five homers, 19 RBIs. John Mayberry over at first is really struggling. He's hitting 152 with just four homers and 14 RBIs. So he's looking to get back on track. Tom Poquette is out in right field, hitting 216 with a homer. And batting ninth is Frank White. He's only hitting 196 with no homers and 13 RBIs. Frank does have 12 stolen bases. The Brewers' starting pitcher is Bill Travers. He is 4-2 on the season with a big ERA, 5.67 and 8 games started. So... With the score one to nothing after a half inning, here's Freddie Patek. Patek hits the ball out to right field where Sixto Lascano is, and he makes a nice play out there for the first out. Joe Zeb. Zeb hits a grounder over to Bando at third, who makes the play for the second out. And Brett. Brett singles to right. So he's at first with two down. And Hal McRae, the DH. McRae hits a grounder to second. And he flips it over for the force. At the end of one, the Brewers lead it one to nothing. Don Money, the second baseman, will lead off the second for Milwaukee. Routine fly to center. One down. And here's Buck Martinez. Buck hits a routine grounder to second. So the first two in order for Milwaukee. Split off settling down a bit. Molitor, the DH. It's a routine grounder to short. One, two, three. Go the Brewers. After an inning and a half, it's 1 0 Milwaukee. Al Collins to lead off the bottom of the second. He connects. And that ball is a double. So Collins leads off with a double, brings up Daryl Porter, with the tying run in scoring position. Porter singles him in, and just like that, we got a tie game. So man on first with no outs, here's John Mayberry, who, as I said, is really struggling. It's a grounder to out. Porter will move up to, to second base on the ground out for the first out of the inning. Here's Poquette. Poquette connects. And that ball is a double RBI. And Kansas City takes a 2-1 lead. Frank White will step in. White hits a grounder to third. Poquette will stay at second. Bando fires over. There's two down for Freddie Patek. And Patek delivers with a single to bring in Poquette. And it's 3-1 to one Royals on five hits. Zeb will call the, he will not call the hit and run, but he connects with a single. Patek scampers over to third. And Travers is really struggling, and now he has to face George Brett. Movement at the corners. And let's see what happens. Brett flies to left to end the inning. But the Royals get three. It is three to one Kansas City after two. Top of the third, Robin Yelp will lead it off. Yelp flies the left for the first out. Here's Cecil Cooper. Cooper gets a base hit. So he stands at first. And here's Heisel. Ernie Heisel draws a walk. So it's minute first and second with one out and slugging Gorman Thomas up. Thomas pops up to short. 
So the Brewers looking for the big hit from Moscato with two outs. And he delivers. That ball is off the wall. A double. Both runners score. And we have a tie game at three apiece. Bando will look to give the Brewers the lead. He grounds too short for the last out of the inning. But the Brewers tie it. Bottom of the third, Hal McRae. McRae draws a walk. So these pitchers are struggling. Al Collins, the man on first. He hits a grounder to Bando, who turns two on the play. And suddenly there's two outs and nobody on. Daryl Porter flies to the left. So, at the end of three, we are tied at three. And now it's the top of the fourth, Don Money. Second baseman against Splitorf. He doubles. So he stands at second. And Buck Martinez is up. Swing away. But Martinez singles in money. And the Brewers take the lead again for three. Let's see here first. Rudolf. He's starting to get fatigued a bit. Molitor the DH. No outs. So man on first in the fourth. He hits into a fielder's choice, 6-4. And the Brewers will call the hit and run with Yelp. Yelp grounds to Brett, but on the on the ground out, Molitor was going, so he goes to second with two outs. And Cooper will look to drive him in. Cooper grounds the third to end the inning. Milwaukee leads it 4-3. Bottom of the fourth, John Mayberry. Mayberry strikes out. Pulling down for Poquette. That's ball one on Tom Poquette. Bottom of the order here for the Royals. And that is a strike. One and one count on Poquette. Who flies out to right for the second out. And that leaves it up to Frank White. White grounds the third. So KC goes down in order. So let's see here. At the end of four, it is 4 3. Larry Heisel. Singles. Brings up Thomas, made out first, no outs. Thomas walks. The Kansas City bullpen is going to have to get busy here. First and second, no outs. Four to three, and Moscato is up. That ball is gone. A three run shot for six to Moscato. And that is going to be all for Paul Splitorf. Seven runs. Given up by Split Orf. And the, the Royals will turn to Marty Patton in relief. So, with the score 7 3 Milwaukee and no outs in the fifth, Patton comes on to face Sal Bando. And he walks Bando. And that brings up money. The Brewers looking for their eighth straight win. That's a single for Don Money. Bando moves over to second. Still no outs. Martinez is going to square. He turns to Bunt. And he gets it down to the third baseman, and the runners move up. So mid on second and third, one out. The infield moves in against Molitor. Brewers already up 7-3. to three. Molitor pops up behind 
on the right field line. There's two down. 